that's when I said point uh, It's a simple word. Why can't I think of it? Good morning. It is Friday. And here we are in my studio. So yesterday I was working on some cards. This one, if you recall. <clears throat> Can you see that okay? Yeah, just checking. Okay, so I went ahead and I added this paper flower to the card and I think it really made a difference. It kind of echoes this little flower up here in her hair. And then I was thinking about the background. So I ran off a couple of backgrounds from Gecko Gals because this is a Gecko Gals card. So here's the two backgrounds I ran off and I made them six by six, um, I believe, let me see. Um, no, five by five, excuse me, five by five. So first I saw this one, which I think is just beautiful. Whoops, I got it upside down. As you can see, it's, it's from a seaside set. And then I put this on it and I don't know, I just losing all that background just made me kind of sad because it's so beautiful. So then I got this one and it picks up the colors really neat, neatly. And I'm thinking, well, I'm not really over in, overly in love with it, but the colors are so great. And these are both from a seaside set. So then I thought maybe if I put it like that, I could add something down here. So I think that's what I'm gonna do with this one. Okay, now the other card we worked on yesterday was the cactus card and this one I added some uh, little hand drawn um ooh there's some glue left there let's check and take off with my tool uh some glue some uh stitches and I used my favorite Faber Castell small point three marker fine liner in black and I went around the edge with some little marks but I also came in here and I went over all of the black lines where maybe some of the embossing powder got I did a sloppy job and it looked so much better after I added the black lines really happy with that so that one is done and then I just have to take photos of that and then I'll finish this one right here and we'll just add some double side tape. <clears throat> so the art fest, the art group, we're talking about maybe doing something really cool for the next festival, showing our true colors showing our true colors. Oh, I wanted to show you a way to make sure you um, are able to control attaching this to make sure you get it where you want it. So what I do here, and this, I did not make this up, you pull up one end of each tape and bend it, okay? So that you have and you've probably seen this before, but it does work. You just pull up these edges like this. All right, so now we have all of these like that. And I am going to place this here. So I wanna make sure I have a nice border at the top and a nice border on either side and place it down. Okay, and then the magic. We pull one of these out at a time. If you have nails, it helps. Sometimes I have them, sometimes I don't. Uh-oh, I lost one. There he is. Let's reach in there and pull him out again. There he is, okay. Funny, I don't know why I made him a male. <laughs> he is there, okay. 
And so there's my beautiful laid out card. Now I need to add something down here and I'm thinking maybe lace. So I will go and check out my lace. Back to my lace. Check out my lace. I have lace and stuff and this is vintage, vintage lace, black lace. Let's see, black. Hmm. I'm pulling them all out so you can see. Okay, I've got some pieces, so let's pull those out and take a look. All right, so here's a piece of black. I think it's too dark. Then I have a piece of tea stained lace. That's kind of pretty. That's very pretty. What do you think? And then I have the same thing, but not tea stained. Hmm. I think I like the lighter one. I don't know, it's hard. This one, this one brings the flower up. No, I think I'm on with the tea stain. Okay, so this is tea stained lace. So we will cut a piece five inches long. Okay. I'm going to glue it on first. Of course, I'm going to use my beacon. Stick a piece of scrap paper under here. Old book pages. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put a line of glue right at the bottom of my card. So, yeah, just a little squiggle. And find the part I like the best. I think it's that. And decide how much of it I want to see and I don't think I want very much but I do want people to know it's lace so I'm gonna just do that there and that kind of balances out the bottom of my card and I can trim it off oh, that's so pretty okay so that card's now done there it is I might add some glitter <laughs> It's hard to stop. So I'll put that aside for that glue to dry. And then I have toast here and a cup of coffee. So, mm, 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 mm. Okay. now for another card I'm making um, for Gecko Gals, it's a birthday greetings. It's so cute, right? Love it. And I thought, well, why not use it with this image that I love so much? Hmm. And then I'm thinking, do I want to cut all the white off? I looked at it on the computer without the white. And it disappears into the background. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to just do it by hand this time. So, i a little white edge and ink it. Maybe no white edge and ink it. No white edge and ink it. What do you think? Mm, yeah, it doesn't matter. So yesterday um, I worked on editing videos and I haven't done them in a few weeks. No, several weeks. So I kind of forgot how to make the video fit the screen. So the last one I put up, guys, if you look at it, the one about my studio, it's kind of small in the middle of the screen because I forgot how to do it. You know, it's like use it or lose it. So I think the next one's going to be a little bit better. It's actually a video of my closet because I forgot to share that with you guys. And now I'm working on these. My daily, what am I doing in my studio videos? So what do you think? Cute? Hmm. 
Hmm, maybe you should do a lace thing again. I don't know, that background is so utterly cool. Let me ink the edges of this. And then I'm gonna put my sponges. Vintage photo. Vintage photo. Ink. Around the edges first, let's just see how it looks on like this. Oh yeah, that looks good. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. You can do all the edges like this and it makes the white go away. Makes the white go away. Okay, so there, and now this one, same thing. All right, I love vintage, I love dirtying things up. I never even used glitter much until I worked for Sparkle and Sprinkle, so I learned to enjoy that somewhat. Okay, and I think as simple as that is, it might be just perfect. I think I'm gonna add some little dots. I'm not quite sure yet, but I think I also like the water showing at the bottom there. Really cute. And these are almost like little Mary Anglebright flowers down here. <laughs> These little circles with little dots in the middle. And these as well. How cute are they? Yeah, those are really cute. Hmm. So maybe some... Let's try the lace again. I'm just not going to get these cards finished. It doesn't sound very good, but that's the truth. I got other things to get done this month, so... Come on and get them done. And there's nothing wrong with wanting to get them done. Okay, so a piece of lace across there would be nice. Okay, put a piece of lace there. I'm just gonna work really fast and just add it right here. Because what I want to do next I start working on a collage that I've been um, started when I was teaching classes a couple weeks ago, and want to finish that, and then move on to some projects with some of my digital stuff. I'm also I sent my grandkids a video, and. Uh, they were here and learned how to do jelly plate printing, so they learned how to do that. And Lily, my oldest granddaughter, does have a jelly plate print I sent her for Christmas, a jelly plate kit. So she can have fun with that, but I don't know how much mom um, has is wanting a mess right now with that. So I sent them a video on... Just really doing a cute little, um, just a cute little bird. A bird made out of paper. We need to piece of cardboard. And I told them to, that they need to make it out of rectangles, squares, and circles. So we'll see. Now with this one, I've got a bunch of washi tape. I've got a couple jars of washi tape. So I'm thinking let's... Dump those out. Let's see what we got. Okay. Yeah, so I think they would may have some fun with that. Oh, well, that picks up the colors nicely. Uh, that one's pretty too. That's too white. Hmm, maybe. Nah, too bright. The same thing as this one? Look at it, two the same. Mm, slightly there. Nope, they're the same. Interesting. How did that happen? Nope. 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 So I think I've mm, thinking these. Too bright. Let's do. Let's see. What's this one look like? Nah. I need something with more of a line. How about this one? the end. Yeah, so I'm excited to hear back. I haven't heard anything. I sent them the video this morning, you know, because they're home. They, they're they stuck home. And I just thought it might be something fun for them to do. So, 
something fun for them to do. Right, so let's see. I'm not sure. I don't think I really need this. Nope, doesn't look good. So with all these cute designs here, I'll shake this down to the jar. And um, all the cute things we have to use. Okay, we've got some other things here. These are the beads. Those are the beads. So if I, or I could put shells, but it's a, a you can't really see that this is a seaside design anymore. Well, look how I tucked that in. That kind of looks neat. Is it that or is it that? Mm, I think I like that better. So thinking they could really have some fun. No. Um, right, I have some basic blocks I can have to use here. So this is going to go there. Maybe a pretty bow there. Just a bow with some ribbon. Okay, let's work. Let's get this thing done. All right, I need my, I need my dimensionals. Oh, uh, yeah. So I'm showing you some very easy cards you can make. Very easy. Very easy. Super easy. Super duper easy. Okay, I'm gonna use like six of these. And another thing you can do is get some of that fun foam at the craft store. And they have, um, you just cut a sheet to fit the whole size and then glue it on. I've heard that the ones with the peel and stick on the back don't really stick. So if you get the peel and stick, you're probably gonna have to use some more glue. So yeah, and then what happens is when you use these, your card doesn't get that dent in the middle if you press down on it too much, like you'll, I'll show you what I mean. But I haven't gotten around, every time I think of it, I forget. And I go to a craft store, I never remember to pick it up. Even if I say, oh yeah, I gotta do that, I forget. So I'm gonna put this here. That's pretty. Okay, look at that, so pretty. It's a little off center, but that's handmade. <laughs> that's how I look at it. Okay, so pretty bow. I think that would do it. All right, let me get the ribbon. Ribbon, ribbon, ribbon. Let's put this away. Ribbon. Ooh, that makes it dark. Hold on. So we need oh, maybe a peachy ribbon. These are yellows and oranges. Ooh, let's see what we got. I've got that. I think it's way off. And that, which is. Not very interesting. And this, which I think is too heavy. I think that's too heavy. Yeah, it just doesn't look vintage enough to me. Some yellow. No. All right, so out of this whole bag, I think this one is the best. I think this one's too orange. Yeah. All right, so we got that one to choose from. Greens. Let's see. We were in greens yesterday. This is a very muted green. Oh, wait, let's see. Let me see if I make a bow. I just want to see what that looks like. Hmm. 
Hmm. It's kind of cool. Hmm. I'm going to have to add a little, some kind of little doodad to it to make it. I don't know. I'll try that one maybe. What else? I need to get some more ribbon. That's too big. I need to get myself some more burgundy ribbon. I think we're going to go with the green. Put this back in my nose. And check out my vintage color ribbons because, of course, you know we have to do that. Okay. We had these out yesterday. Uh-oh. That's pretty. I don't know if it'll melt, but it doesn't always have to melt. That's gorgeous. Uh, maybe I could just do a, like a ripply ribbon. My gut's telling me this one. My gut's telling me that one, so I'm going to go with my gut, I think. Let's see what we can do with that. I'm thinking just rippled ribbon. Ripple, 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 ripple. Oh, hello. Let me see. Let's tie a bow. So pretty. And it's pretty on both sides, which is important when you're doing this kind of a ribbon. Man, I'll tell you what, I was up north for a few days in Pennsylvania, like last week or so, and man, just that little visit did a number on my hands. Just skin is so dry. <gasps> Look. Okay, so first of all, make a bow that has the two loops sticking up in the right direction there. Okay, I like that. Oh, just keep it simple, right? Just keep it simple. What do you think? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. That's what we're going to do. One, two. Simple bow. Simple beauty bow. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Simple bow. Yep, so that's easy. That's easy. I got this one down. So simple. If you have some gorgeous ribbon, and you know what? You, you go to I go to flea markets. I go to mostly what where I really get good ribbon is in a yard sale, like the where people are have done crafting and you know, they're over it. Around here in the adult community area. We have a lot of adult communities. We have a lot of like uh, mobile home parks. And you'd be shocked at the good things you can find from people that are, you know, they're older now. They've gotten past being interested in doing that kind of thing. And they just want to... Okay, I have to do it over because my bow is like wasting ribbon over here. <laughs> I don't want to... I'm so cheap. But actually, I'm frugal. Um they don't have time anymore or they're not capable. I mean, I found some amazing things. This little lady in a mobile home park, she had, oh, she had the most beautiful fabrics and I got some little aprons that she made herself, all folded up neatly and ironed and everything was neat as a pin collectibles for two dollars you know that i found online that were worth more like sixty dollars not that i'm going to sell them but i mean just treasures okay so that's one way you can find stuff you can also find stuff um same way don't skip over those mobile home parks because you think they're going to have nothing because you'd be shocked um i found an old suitcase that I now keep my fabric in for what three dollars and sure I had to clean it up a little bit had some sticky tape all over it packing tape but you know little goo gone and you're, you're done and uh, 
What else did I find there? Oh, a whole box of vintage envelopes and uh, postcards, old wrapping paper thrown in a box and it said, free. I took the whole box. Why not? It's free. If it's free, you know what the saying is. So, yeah, so that's what I did. Or now do I cut it or fold it? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it. So, what else have I found? Um, the tin lunchbox that I keep my jewelry making supplies in. I think I got that for about $5. And it's an old tin thing. And it's so neat. Look at my card. Look at my little card. It's so cute. Okay, so that one's done. What would I do without this package of vintage ribbon? You know what? I got this at like Hobby Lobby or something. And it comes with just, you know, bits and pieces of uh, all different ribbons. So cool. Okay, so, so much for the green ribbon. It doesn't even compare. So I will put that away. And that card is done. So now we'll move on. Well, let's just look at our two cards. Actually, this one needs a little something. So I think what I'm going to do... All right, so these are Nouveau Vintage Drops. And look at these colors. Aren't they cool? I mean, I just went in there and grabbed a few. But they all work. Well, that one doesn't work for this. But aren't they cool? I am kind of drawn to these two. So I think what I'm going to do... Is first, I just... That's flat paper. I always make sure that they're coming out good. And you just... You just do a little, <laughs> yeah, they're a little thick. So I can just kind of, they're supposed to make a drop without a little top, but that one has a top. I think they're just getting a little bit old. I'm having second thoughts about using those. I think it's busy enough. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Nouveau Glitter Drops. And I'll see how those look. Yeah, those look good. So what this is going to do is going to dry. All you'll see is the glitter. So I'm just adding a few little drops on the flowers. Because I don't want to add too much. It just needs a little something. You know, here we'll just add a few. But, you know, you can get stickles, um, and they're the same thing. These are, it's just glitter glue that comes out in little drops. So that's really all you need, you know. I'll just do a little bit on the edge of her dress here. That would look cute. Sometimes less is more. When you make, like, things for Christmas or holidays, then you tend you may want to use... A little bit more sparkle just to make it more festive and well maybe you'll be doing anything with this but what's going to happen is it's only going to be the glitter that you the sparkle that you see you won't see yeah you won't see it i'll make it around the, i'll get a little carried away maybe around the edge of here just to make it look cute kind of, you know, bring her to the forefront, this little center piece there. I'm sorry, but I think this is one of my favorite cards that I've made in a long time with someone else's digitals. Just beautiful. Okay, so that's that. And I think that card is finished. That is pretty. I just need to put it on a card base. Okay. So you have this card, which will take a few minutes to dry. And this card, which should be dry completely. Those are my two cards for Gecko Gals for the month of April. And now I'm looking at this one and saying, oops, glitter. <laughs> okay, so more of this little stuff. We'll just put some on the... You 
know, because it dries clear. It dries clear. If you're looking for these, this is White Blizzard Nouveau Glitter Drops. They dry clear with sparkle. There's also one that dries clear without sparkle. Mm -hmm. So we'll do that. And I think just a little bit here and there on my little flower. Because even here, see how if I put it on the edges of this flower? Look at that. I'm just putting it on the edge. I'm just dotting it, dot like a dotted line. Dot, 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 dot. Just squeezing the whole time, but very lightly. Squeezing it, but very lightly. So yeah, so I'm interested to see what happens with my granddaughters because I thought, you know, I can't be there. So I thought they're seven and nine. <laughs> of course they have a sister that's gonna be one next month. She will not be able to do this. They need to have some attention. The babies, babies always seem to get so much attention, you know, so. Okay, so that one's done. So I have two beautiful cards right here. You know, I'm looking at this and I don't think I like the lines. <laughs> this is really bad, but I'm gonna just take my finger and spread that glitter around on these, like that. Here's my finished card. They just need to dry, actually. This is my favorite. My favorite card. It's just so pretty. Another bite of toast, and I'm going to move on to my collage. All right, so if you took any of my collage classes a couple weeks ago, right here in my studio, then you might have seen this come to be. The first day, I just put the underneath papers, which we call underpants, from Lori Marie Jenkins on YouTube, because they're, you put them on first and then you cover them up. Sometimes they peek out. <laughs> but then the next thing I showed the classes was how to go, how to look for a theme. And I had a box of words. Not that that's the only way you can find the theme. But I reached in the box and found the word balance. So, read on. But it had a line over it, which I cut off. And I put the line up here, which is our powerly chili covered up now. And then, And then, let's see what else. Uh, talked about tissue paper or napkins. And so we have some tissue paper color here and here and here. And then we talked about hmm, uh, movement. So we used paint and I talked about using paint, you know, to carry your eye around. Red, red, red. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Texture, added some of this here and here and here. This is just corrugated cardboard from a package of something. And I love the torn edges, although people did cut quite a bit. Um, I think we're just programmed to cut. And if you notice, torn edges will really just work into each other, where the cut edges stop movement. Then we talked about using um, some vintage colors. So we use some, um, I'll show you, that is a, that is a Stabilo Aquarellable pencil in brown. Works on all different surfaces and when you color it and you add water, it blends out. So we did that here and here and here. And we also had a black one. Inking edges, you know, before you even put things down. That, this picture, and then, oh, I showed them, you know, just cutting things out and adding just some interesting things that may add to the texture 
of the piece. Oh, and here's a piece of um, stiffened burlap. Look at how stiff that is. I had stiffened that earlier with glue and then let it dry. And then you can go over the edges if you decide to. Now you can see, this was a sample, so I don't have it done. None of my other size, well, there's one more. And this is just a box that I got at a Goodwill for a dollar. It had a sentiment on it of some kind. Went this way, now it's going to go this way. Mm, so the hole's not in the right place. I'm gonna have to put something else there to hang it. Oh well. So be it. My husband's got to go. So, put some stuff away. And, excuse my toast in my mouth, how rude of me. Mmm, so good. I don't usually eat toast, but being stuck in the house right now, it just seems to be a comfort food for me. Okay, so, then I went and looked for things that kind of went with the theme of balance. So, I found this man on a bike, vintage, and he's balancing. Let's face it, it takes balance to be on that bike. That's a steam funky picture, too. Lots of other things. It says, safety, strength, and speed. <laughs> it also has some gears, which I could, I could add more gears. Then I found this guy, and I haven't added him yet. He's a little, this is from Gecko Gals, and he's a little froggy, and he's on a branch, and he's definitely balancing. So I'm going to ink him up. Same one, didn't vintage photo. I love to get the edges, really. And I'm going to actually kind of brown this whole thing up because it's too white for this. And I've already seen a spot here. I don't know if you can see, but this is an actual edge that's very square and he fits right there. Okay, so I'm going to glue him on. And excuse me while I go get my glue. I'm going to glue without water added. Which I buy by the gallon. And that's it. A brush that you can get at Harbor Freight any hardware store, Walmart hardware section, nothing special about this brush. So just, I, it's a, you know, like using Mod Podge, but Mod Podge, it's not my favorite thing. It really has an odor I don't care for. And it can stay sticky depending on what you're using it on. So I'm gonna fit him right over the glue, plenty of glue underneath him, press him down. Yeah, and you can mod podge on. I mean, you can <laughs> mod podge. You can collage on any kind of surface. Piece of cardboard. Piece of cardboard. Back of an art pad. Anything. Packaging. You know, like especially now, you may have some things coming in in a box. Take a piece of box. Cut it to fit. Do the whole box. Make it fun. Go crazy. Okay, so now my little guy is attached balance and I really like it already although I think I might need some ink up here and the edges because that's just my style actually I think it's a style of a lot of people a lot of vintage okay I'm just gonna put on the edges with a little bit of the distress offside ink on a little sponge applicator, but you don't need to have a special applicator. You could use your finger. You can use a piece of cloth, paper towel, whatever, cotton wool, whatever you got. All right, I wanna dirty up the edges of my cardboard a bit. I go crazy with this stuff. <laughs> I could. I'd be crazier than I already am. All right, so that is that. Bring him out a little more here. Okay, now he's buckling up, but that's okay. Just press him down. Press him down with your finger. It's okay. And I just removed some color, but seeing this is vintage, I don't. There we go. 
So he's good. And I'm gonna put that aside and let it dry. And I think, I think I'm just going to do the edges with, I like this kind of idea. If I can find some measuring tape or maybe, I just had a great idea. What about, you know what are those things called that help you to make things straight? Um, my husband has a bunch of them. Uh, it's a simple word. Why can't I think of it? Um. <laughs> Maybe another bite of toast. Hmm. Um, come on, you know what it is, right? Anyway, picture, the, picture that all the way around the cool. Maybe some extra cardboard here, like I have that, that there. What is it called? Mm. I have Alaska. He's not here. He went for a walk. Oh man. <laughs> All right, I just remembered it. I'm dumb. Level. A level, yep, yeah, you were right, a level. An image of a level around here. Now I'm gonna find that. Okay, so that's that. And that will be it for today. And I am excited about tomorrow. Who knows what we will do.